So I and hello, this is again Alan, the Forex Algo Trader. And in today's video, I'm going to show you how you can delete all the chart indicators uh, in this uh, case. So at some point, you may have that uh, you may see that uh, your expert advisor is uh, is uh, having is uh, <laughs> you have too many indicators loaded into your chart in this case. So it takes it, it is a kike in this case again to just go. To the indicators list then delete one indicator after the other maybe you can just go here then have to delete your moving average uh, manually in this case something like that one as uh, you can see in this case in sca instead of just doing that one it is more easier to just code an expert advisor that you can just take load into your expert uh, into your chart in this case now and it will automatically get rid of all the indicators in this case as uh, you have seen it doesn't matter the window or the sub window in this case so i can show you straight away how to code this uh, beautiful program in this case instead of for doing it manu uh, automatically in this case as opposed to the manual operation as uh, you have seen so in this case now just click on the ide icon over there which opens the meta editor for you then once on the meta editor in this case now just choose the whatever the folder want to base your file click on new expert advisor from template click on next then providing the the file name over here can just go with delete uh, indicators delete indicators del int in this case doesn't again really matter click on next next then finally finish uh, in this uh, instance so right now from here i would like to maybe whatever that you want to call your expert advisor in this case or uh, at this uh, instance in this case maybe you want to call it let me just create a, a function in this case so i just like to go ahead and create a void function in this case then call it delete uh, uh, delete delete uh, all chart uh, indicators indicators in this case now providing the route brackets and finally the carry brackets to provide in the place holder for your board in this case so basically we may want to search and uh, delete all the indicators contained in basically all all the all the windows in this case so basically the first thing that you want to do is to loop through all the windows uh, that are available on the current chart in this case so whenever uh, actually if i were to just go back over here whenever let me just insert something that that i know will initialize another window so if i were to just maybe basically go ahead and maybe attach this uh, moving average over here doesn't really matter which it is attached to sub window number zero in this case so however if i were to just go ahead again and then attach maybe a trade indicator like uh, like uh, which one like uh, which one it doesn't really matter just any even this one doesn't again matter that is now the envelopes that is now attached to so, to window zero in this case however if i were to just go ahead over here and then attach something like uh, like the rsi rsi it is actually over here then attach it to the chart now you can see we have another different window in this case so we have this is now referred to as window number zero and then we have this other indicator which has its own window in this case now which is now attached to window number one in this case so if we were to just again go ahead and then attach something else like the maybe even the marked over here does it really matter the parameters you can see now this is now another sub window that is now opened so we have a total of three windows we have the first the second and the third windows however you can see the rsi has its own window the marked indicator as well as its own window however these uh, envelopes that uh, indicator or oh, and the the moving average indicator and the actually if i were to just go ahead again in uh, where if i were to just go ahead again in uh, this case and then attach something else like uh, like uh, maybe even parabolic cell doesn't really matter again over here so you can see this is now 
attached to another widow as uh, you can see uh, specifically also in this case so right now over here you can see that uh, we, this is now attached to widow number zero we have many indicators in chart number or widow or a sub widow number zero over here and then we have the rsi in its own widow the marked indicator in its own widow so in this case now we will now need to loop through all the open charts in this case so we can just say for integer for integer like uh, integer i in this case now is equals to all the total widows in this case so the easiest way to count all the total widows in this case now is to go ahead and have some integer like all the sub widows total total uh, sub widows sub widows in this case so now the total sub widows we want to use the chart get integer then get the long chart id zero for the current chart then we want to maybe get the chart 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 the chart widows widows total yeah widows total in this case now so we just want to loop through all the total sub widows in this case now and once in each and every sub widow in this case now whenever we are the sub widow are either greater than or equal to zero we just want to iterate all the widows starting from the highest widow in this case the highest indexed widow in this case and then from here we just basically want to delete all the what we now get all the sub widows we want to delete for uh, Basically, what am I saying over here? What, what I want to actually mean in a more simplified way is that uh, we want to delete all the indicators in the particular windows. So right now, whenever we select these, uh, uh, as you have seen here, or uh, as I have just went ahead and uh, done, you have seen that this sub window over here can have as many indicators as as uh, possible in this case so you can see the main chart over here with the main window over here in this case uh, it can have as many indicators as possible in this case so we have actually three for us for now in this case so however for the rsi in this case now it is just one indicator so we can just delete the widow or delete the indicator uh, uh, individually and then the, for the marked we can also delete the marked indicator it is just one indicator however now where the complication or, or the sophistication if there is a word like that one comes in in this case is where we have this one sub widow containing too many indicators so we want to after selecting that window we just want to get rid of all the indicators which means we'll just have to count all the indicators and then delete them one by one in this case so uh, actually so for now what we need to do is that we need to loop through or soul or the, after selecting that particular sub window indexed number i in this case we want to delete the indicator and the, for this indicator i can have i j k on one side on forth in this case now we want just to get all the indicators uh, for that particular chart in this case so again over here I can just go ahead and provide an uh, integer to store the, the total indicators so total uh, indicators in this case so total indicators again it is chart uh, indicator chart indicator chart indicators total then you need to count all the uh, the total indicators for the current uh, sub widow in this case as uh, you have seen there earlier in this uh, instance so you just need to provide in the chart id zero for the current open chart in this case now the chart id is now for the current open chart for that particular symbol in this case in our case there if we were to go back again is now this whole chart as you have seen then this is now a sub widow a sub widow a sub widow on one cent on fourth in uh, this uh, case so if we were to go back we just need not to select the sub widow specifically or uh, individually in this case so select Select sub widow i in uh, this case whenever we have uh, the, the selected sub widow in this case so right now we want to initialize this one to the total indicators uh, in this case and then the total indicators we need to negate one from from it in this case now 
then after negating what from the from it we just need to check that if that particular indicator the indicators whenever the indicators are greater than or equal to uh, zero in uh, this uh, case we just want to loop through all the indicators starting from the highest one in this case to the lowest one as a uh, as a uh, we usually do so right now from here after selecting the particular or the individual indicator we just want to delete it so to do this one we again here use the use a, an inbuilt mql5 function which is not the chart delete indicator chart delete wow there is nothing like that one chart delete indicator so it should be indicator delete indicator delete yeah it is here chart indicator delete then providing the law the chart id zero for the current chart in this case then providing the sub window the sub window now it does matter over here so we choose the sub window over here which is now we now initialized it to integer i as a you have seen over here so the sub window i in this case then provide in the indicator name uh, also in this case so now if you just know the indicator name in this case now you can just go ahead and provide in the indicator name that uh, for your current chart in this case or uh, whichever you had initialized at first maybe you end something like and all and all uh, moving average something like that one or the name the actual name in this case so if you were to go back you can just go here indicator list then have it as macd so i can just actually have something like uh, this uh, marked indicator over over a uh, year in this uh, case however in this case you do not have all the time to come uh, back and just check the name in this case however you can just what i want to say is that you can just go ahead and then uh, delete the indicator individually in this case you can just go you just want you do not just want to go ahead and delete the indicator individually you just want to do this automatically so to do this one automatically you use another function which is now chart chart uh, indicator name indicator name which gives you the the string for that indicator name uh, specifically so just pro providing the chart id zero again then the sub widow the sub widow just remains the i in this case now and then you just need to go ahead pro and provide in the index for that uh, indicator that you want to get in this case so to get the index automatically to get the index name in this case now you can just have something like uh, uh, you can just have something something i'm trying to load something over here you the index name let me just provide it which is not the the integer j that we had provided here the total indicators in this case so at the end just provide in the comma then actually to get the name of the chart id that in this case now we can just print the, the name in this case just print print the name which is now we can just print j or well, not j maybe can just have something like indicator name indicator name there was okay indicator name then providing the name j in this case now then can say was was deleted in this uh, case to just get the name of the indicator automatically in this uh, case so right now from here can compile this one okay we have a warning a warning a warning so to just basically go to your warning just double click on the warning then it will just take the cursor to where you need to uh, iterate in this case to get rid of this warning just go ahead and provide in the integer that it is required for us in this case so compile the warning is now gone which means our code is working perfectly fine and then maybe on the on init maybe once we initialize it we can just call this function anywhere so maybe what was it delete 
delete or chart indicators then every, everything now remains the same so if we were to compile and then attach it to our indicators which is not delete uh, indicators i hope so let me just uh, delete this one remove it then attach it to the chart then which was it delete something delete indicators over here so if i were to add it to the chart in this case now you can see it just deletes all the indicators so i can just go to the journal to see the printout so control uh, control toolbox in here then you can just go uh, We just should have okay here now we go here we go so the the indicators it just printed the indicators uh, uh, th that were deleted in this case so we can see you can see we deleted indicator number zero number zero again i don't know why we have two of them over here then we have one and two respectively so actually that is now the widow uh, that is how you can actually uh, do these uh, things in this case so just clear it again then go over not back to the code i just want to do this one more time for you to see the sub widow that uh, the indicator was uh, deleted in this case so where where i just want i just want the where 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 just want to i actually think uh, you did see everything that uh, happened just want to do this one more time so just go to insert indicators i want to earn trend indicator parabolic cell in this case add it then i want to again add maybe a moving average doesn't again really matter to which is now the current chart sub widow in this case zero, uh, zero then i want to add another sub widow in this case now another sub widow which is now can now add an auxiliator the marked doesn't again really matter the marked then i can just go again and add some another auxiliator in this case now maybe stochastic no i don't want stochastic right now i just want to add some more sub widows in this case or at this instance maybe i can add the rsi over there then maybe i can add another one another one which one maybe which one which which other one which other i don't know i don't know okay let me just add the i don't know which indicator is this one so we have three three uh actually how many sub windows zero one two three or oh, actually four four uh, sub windows in this case now so if i were to just go again and add our indicator our expert advisor to the chart in this case now let's see what it does for us right now you can see we deleted all of the indicators in this case so we add three indicators on the main window in this case now and they deleted the other one in a as uh, you can see so actually that is uh, all that uh, you can do in this uh, case uh, that is now basically all of the full code that you need in this case for you to to delete all the indicators so that is all uh, if i were to go back to the code this is now the full code that uh, you need in this case so that is all bye bye and uh, see you next time